can you guys see my house right now? That, no, 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 no. That must be because of Earth curvature. You owe me a Bitcoin. <laughs> 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 let me show you. Let me show you an experiment uh, about the sunset. So this is my kitchen, and I, I have this line here. It's a level line, and this is my little sun, and I'm just running it along the line, and we're looking at it from the height of the sun. So it's going straight and level, and then I have these. Uh, these are just obstructions, whether they're clouds or mountains or whatever in the distance, and you know the sun is going over them. So now I'm going to show you the same view, but from over here, from the level of the counter, which would be the plane of the earth. And so as the sun goes away, it's still level, but it looks like it's going down. And as it goes beyond these things in the distance that all are at eye level because they just, everything gets mushed into the horizon, it literally disappears behind them. Yeah. So like I'm going to show you the whole thing again, a little closer, and I'm going to show it to you compared to a real sunset. <laughs> so at yeah. This line that looks like it's going down is level. I yeah. showed you that this line is level. Here's a real sunset. Here's my sunset. And as it's going away, look, it's getting eclipsed here because you can't see what's here. It's but it's blocking the sun and the sun is just going beyond it. it it's literally that simple. Yeah. So that works. so the so the, the the next question you're going to have is why can't we see forever? And the answer is because light can't push through the atmosphere. So this is a spot in Alusia, France. We're looking out over the water. Here's the supposedly physical horizon, but it's an optical horizon. And out here is Mount Canigou, which is 175 miles away. According to Globe Math, the top of Mount Canigou should be a mile below this curvature, a mile. And therefore, that's why we can't see it. That's what a glober would say. But on two days a year, the sun lines up with this viewing spot and Mount Canigou. And as it goes past it, all of a sudden, it starts backlighting it. And you can see this is Mount Canigou. Right oh, here wow. is the highest point on Mount Canigou. It should be a mile below the curve. But not only can we see the top, we can see the entire mountain. Oh, right. Okay. Wow. And that's big. That's how light going through our atmosphere works and why we can't see forever. People say, what about Hawaii? How come I can't see this other mountain 300 miles away? And the answer is because it's 300 miles away. You can't see that far. Like if you had an Olympic size swimming pool and you made it five times the length it is probably just an Olympic swimming pool would be enough. And you put a picture on one end in the pool. You couldn't see that picture because the light coming off that picture won't make it through the thickness of that water. Well, the air is the same thing. One more. This is a drone I put up. Super cold day, super clear, unbelievably clear day. And the sun was up here. And if the earth was rotating, the sun in five minutes time went from all the way up here. It went down, down, down. If the earth was rotating, it would just keep on going. But what happened was it went down, 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 down. And then it stopped and it sat there for 10 minutes it just sat there. It never went below this line. This is super sped up. And then instead of going down, it just faded away because the <laughs> sun off. couldn't even push through. Here it goes again. Right? It just faded out. It's still there, but its light can no longer push through. That's light real. Light doesn't travel for billions of miles and trillions of years. That's cool real. That, that's an actual video of the sun just disappearing. Rather Absolutely. than going over the horizon. And I filmed it over seven times. You filmed it and yourself. I, and by the way, my friends at the beach were watching the sunset and they saw the sunset from the bottom up 10 minutes earlier. And the reason they saw it set from the bottom up is because they're just seeing perspective. This cloud is merged with the horizon. And as it goes beyond this cloud, you no longer can see it when it appears below it. And it looks like it sets from the bottom up. That's what, that's all a sunset is. It's just going like, this is, this is the cloud deck or the atmospheric deck or, or a skyline, whatever. And the sun just goes beyond it. It looks like it sets. Because, yeah. Okay. Just it, that, that, perspective. that model does work. Can I show you the boats over the horizon yet? Did, I, did, we, did we do that? I um, don't think we know. We just did the sun so over the horizon. So, look, no boat here. No boat. No boat, right? No boat. I'm zooming in. But all of a sudden, right there, there's a boat. There's so a gonna, boat. <laughs> I'm going to zoom all the way in on this boat. You're going to see this, the whole hull. And then I'm going to zoom out. And that's equivalent to the boat going away. So now this boat's going away. And watch, it's going to disappear from the bottom up. Half the hull is gone. 
It goes all the way up to the window and it goes, buries the boat and then it disappears. And a glober would say, you know, That's it's the, gone over the horizon, but it really there, hasn't. It's, it's, just an, yeah, yeah. Zoomed in. it's just an optical, an optical effect. Like for example, if I walked around this hallway, right? This way. Yeah. Yeah. I walked around that hallway and you were standing right here and I gave you a super zoom telescope. Yeah. Yeah. You're Could not you zoom in see, on yeah, me. Yeah. You can't nah, zoom in. You yeah. couldn't. Right here. I flipped the hallway over. I'm over that hump. You zoom in. You're just going to yeah, zoom yeah. in on the floor here. And this is a physical horizon, but mm. it's not a physical horizon we're seeing. We don't see a physical horizon. We see just the merging of the sky and the sea. And then if you have a super zoom camera, you can, you can open that space and see. That's I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to yeah, invest first. in, in a, a super zoom camera. I think. Yeah, well, I mean, there's, there's a, the, the Nikon P 900, yeah. right. Is the older one. The P 1000 is a massive big one, yeah. but the P 900 couple hundred bucks. It's got an 83, to, 83 times zoom. You can zoom in and see amazing things. So but if I buy that for a couple hundred bucks and I, yeah. and I zoom in and I don't get the same thing, you owe me a Bitcoin. Is that what he's saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Cause can that is proof. See, can you guys see my house right now? That, no, 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 no. That must be because of Earth curvature. You owe me a Bitcoin. <laughs> 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 when, when